Uh oh, recording in progress. Did okay. you hear that? Yeah. Leave me. Wow. I didn't know someone's recording me. FBI's on yeah, us. I'm hey, new feature. We're tapped. <laughs> We're tapped, guys. So uh I don't know, man. My my iron jaw's coming in a little bit. But I am fasting today. I am fasting. I'm surprised I'm, I'm not swelled up a little bit from last night. <laughs> Just see those Pop Tarts I ate. Yeah. Okay. Let's just, I got to get this out of the computer right now. <laughs> You're trying yeah. to say that was like a good cheat meal. That was literally the worst cheat meal I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> there was, there could have been a million dude. better cheat meals you could have done. Dude, do you, you know how delicious it was? Pop tart. Diet Pop Tarts as a cheat meal. There's two yeah, net man. carbs in each one. No, but five, see, like, five did, net like, carbs. He said, I'm, he said, I'm not going to eat like four tacos. I'm going to have like 20 Pop Tarts our diet. Yeah. So yeah. More. Absolutely. Like, like regular Pop Tarts would have been better. A burger, uh, no. ice cream, uh, cereal, uh, sushi, uh, but pizza. See, uh, but see, uh, since can, it. I can name it a bunch of things. Yeah. But see, since it was more unplanned than planned. You know, it was kind of one of those things like, hey, I'm listening to my body right now, dog. I'm and I'm uh I'm needing to fuel up for leg day. Well, it was, I haven't had a hardcore late, leg day. You were lazy and you had a whole box in there. <laughs> you're like, I'm all. I'll like, tell you what, when he dude. says listening to my body, he's talking about listening to his tongue. His tongue like no. that sounds real good right now. Like, yeah, my body <laughs> needs 20 diet pop tarts. <laughs> you know what it is? You know what it is? I've got <laughs> strawberry, I've got chocolate i've got red velvet i'm a door dash I've got, some red pop tarts and i've got a confetti birthday cake and they're fire dude i hate to say this but you know if you're gonna have one or the other it's more satiating than a regular pop tart you know what i mean I mean, regular Pop Tarts, in all honesty, aren't that good. The old school, like OG ones are. I love Pop Tarts, dude. Any flavor, love, any any time, any place, Pop-Tarts. anywhere. I love Pop Tarts. Do you like your Pop Tarts toasted or just regular out of the regular? Uh, Me both. too. Both. It, it depends. If it's like the <laughs> s'more one, I want it a little toasted. Ooh, the s'more is fire toasted. Yeah. Absolutely. No, yeah, but like, like a, cho- um, a chocolatey Pop Tart. Some yeah. of the, I'm talking about like the when they try to make the fruity flavors and stuff, you know, the new random ones I've tried, not good. Like the pumpkin and different random ones. I'm like, just tastes like garbage to me. Yeah, strawberry OG is still one of the best. No, stra- yes. yeah, strawberry. Very hard to beat that. Or very hard to beat that. that. Yeah, or the brown sugar. I used to get that. The strawberry and the brown, brown sugar is good too. Because I used to get them on my ship. And so I'd order all the food for the whole ship. And we got those Pop Tarts. And I'd always get a couple of boxes in my room. <laughs> See, hey, Harvey, but here's here's Harvey's a good thing, lucky. guys. Here's a good thing. You know, this is you know, this is quite the plug for legendary food. So maybe I can get y'all sent some after this uh, scientific. All right, evidence. get it. Give me sent. How many do you eat? Twenty. Hey, seventeen. So give you seventeen, and then I'll okay. I'll judge and see if it was a good cheat meal. Okay, okay, and and this. And, and I want you to check your, I want you to check your blood sugar because that's what I did this morning. If I had eaten seventeen regular pop tarts, I would have been straight diabetic numbers this morning. <laughs> I would have been in a two hundreds easy. What's your What's your normal? Uh, I just started checking this week. Yeah. What What's your normal blood sugar? Well, right now on on dirt carbs, I'm I'm doing good. I'm in the eighties, and that's that's low for me. I'm usually a low nineties guy off season. That's just okay. where it, where it, where it hits for me. Because I was ninety six on Monday, and ninety nine on Thursday. Yeah, you don't want it over a hundred, but you know, <laughs> oh about as about as about as. So you're eating so you many eat a lot carbs. of carbs. You're yeah. eating so many carbs. Yeah, maybe that's probably why. Hey, you're some you're, other, you're, you're some like off carbs right now in prep. So hey hey, so here's here's the deal with that yeah. last night. So I ate seventeen, and this is interesting. This is something to to think about. It's a whole different rabbit hole of net carbs and all that stuff. So these have 24 carbs on the side, but it's got allulose and uh, something else that the the body doesn't recognize, supposedly, according to research. (laughs) You know what I mean? Like, I've always been a guy looking at the label and whatever it says carbs, that's the carbs, man. You know what I mean? 
I ain't playing all these little scientific loophole games. But this morning, my blood sugar, I expected it to be over 100 after 17 of those that said 24 carbs each. But this morning, my blood sugar was 96. And I was like, dang, that's pretty freaking good after a full night episode. Yeah, but can those convert to glycogen? See, I don't know. I don't know. If not, he's staying on track for prep. <laughs> for fatness. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's the ultimate hack. Like, huh? I get away with some shit, but it doesn't like spill and you have to like work yeah, it Yeah, it doesn't affect. <laughs> and listen, listen, I've taken. Watch uh, Barley get Professor Nuts just barrel <laughs> there's, them. There's way more to Barley's mad science than we, we originally thought, Casey. I know. He's been thinking about this for like, you know, years. <laughs> Well, I was like, man, I was like, I do better with fats anyway. Okay. Usually on a, on a low. How many fats are in this? Eight, eight to nine. So I got like a pop tart, like a normal one. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, 17 times eight or nine, you know, it's a lot, it's a lot of fat. (laughs) You know what I mean? So, uh, so that was my motivation to, to fast today because I haven't had, dude, I've been on 15 grams of fat for about almost two weeks like 10 days i was just like dude that is freaking been working okay. yeah yeah and i'm going back to it i'm going back to it i just had to uh bust it up right there get the metabolism rolling is that uh, your final push your final uh final uh gas station refuel as so to speak yeah last law so. you're gonna throw on the fire yeah yeah more than likely if uh last, if I do, last it, sponge you're dunking in the uh water yeah i mean I, i'm not gonna <laughs> i'm not gonna do too many pop tarts protein pop tarts well they're but, gone uh, now so <laughs> no no i've got some more and uh holy Bruce, shit how many they send you they, dude, they must love you man dude hey i sent some to old dj thank you thank you'll tear into one nah he's so deep in that black adam Hey, that sounds been, so wrong. Hey, <laughs> he's 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 done peak week right now, man. Maybe after, maybe hey, after I, shoot. I sent him some uh vaso dry. Hey, I was like, hey, big big dog, you need this, man. It's a secret. Hey, does, Hit hey do you do you recommend trying that? Up. It's fire. Do you recommend dude. that? Yeah, absolutely. I have never used it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, my, peak my week, ass. peak week, absolutely. In the, Are you putting it on your ass right now? You need you need to get some vaso burn right now. That's the one with the Johambine and the capsation. Does that look? There, does that, that, that turn your skin completely yeah. red? Like yeah, it'll, it'll light red. it up. It'll light it up. Because it makes me look like a burn victim. Everywhere. <laughs> Dude, that's what that's what feels so good when I'm on the recumbent bike. And it's called vaso I'm, burn. I'm, yeah. Yeah, uh, vaso M- burn. MPA, and um, <laughs> so. I put it on my glutes and hamstrings every morning, you know, on the way to the gym. I always wrap my waist. I've always got it on my waist, lower back. I don't know. It's something I always start about seven, eight weeks out. And well, uh, in theory, in it, theory, it, that it heats it up it because it up. if there's if there's more blood to the area, right? In theory, you're able to mobilize more fat from that area. Right. That's why areas where you hold more fat generally don't have a lot of blood flow. That's why you hold more fat there. Yeah. So we'll see. I mean, it ain't going to hurt nothing. And uh, when I can feel it heating up, I don't know. It's kind of like one of those mind and muscle it is. Type, yeah. of, type of deals where you can, you can, you're more in touch with the fibers there once you start leaning yeah. up. I'm going to try so That's all you're thinking about is burning. Yeah. You know what? When I won my overalls two years ago, I got like a bunch of gifts and shit, like the bag. I got some, I got a product like Baso Burn. I yeah, used you, it. you got some type of cream or something, don't you? Yeah. Remember, what was that never, Brazilian? What was that Brazilian? That oh, cream? that's the secret for getting your your skin tight. Dude, it's called stop. Br- I need it. Uh, yeah, get Brazilian butt cream on Amazon right now. <laughs> now nah, my wife, my wife, my wife told me about this one. She uses it. it gets her ass nice and crisp, man. Have gets all that skin. Have yeah. You ever four, week, four weeks out, I use it every day. Really? Yeah. It gets those skin folds down there, tightens them up. 
do you do it uh before you work out or just like when no, you get out so of the shower before after bed? My shower after my shower before bed okay yeah it's <laughs> yeah, not like a, you don't want to like work out in it and stuff like that hey that would be worth a try Oh, it worked out and it drips down your legs and your sack and your sack gets all small <laughs> it smell it smells really good too it's kind of like a, like a cocoa butter kind of smell uh-huh. yeah but not as cocoa buttery it's really hey, it smells really good hey send me send me the link i might as well try it yeah okay. i'm lubing up the glutes for freaking every session of the day already anyway might as well do something for bed <laughs> yeah hey. you know it's that, mo- I, that, that moisturizing I, routine. Hey, that that vaso burn is what you use uh, in peak week, though. It uh, you do it about twice a day, and dude, it'll just it'll just start pulling water from there. So, okay. You know, last week I always have a bottle on hand, just if I'm going to do uh, some type of shoot somewhere, or do something, or need to, you know calves you can put it on your calves a little bit boy your veins will be popping son a little shoe pick they'll be they'll be so crisp for them shoe picks. i had a good little i had a good calf day the other day i had to take a shoe pick hey you've been you've been killing it here lately get them yep. new yeah, balances there's... today oh yeah got some new heat today Dude, you already got two pair of them new balance silhouettes yeah or is it yeah, 57 40 57 40 yeah they're nice man yeah yeah, look at it. Yeah, those are sick. That is, I like I the love colorful, that colorway. Cool looking shoes like that. Yeah. So I'm like trying to. That is so fire. I was on the Jordans and all the you know Air Maxes like way before a lot of these other people, but not so hype. Trying yeah. to be a trendsetter, start a new little yeah. fad. Yeah. I'd rather get New Balances. I'm more of a New Balance fan than Nike. They're way more comfortable too, man. Hey, that would go yeah. good with my they're Ultimate great. Warrior. They're, shirt. they're good look for fatter this. feet too. Yeah, that would go perfect. Look at look that. Look at this championship belt right here, son. Dude, that Champion. shirt was made for these shoes. Championship. Pretty much. <laughs> these shoes are made for that shirt. One or the other. Hey, now it's listen. Like perfect combo. You know what this was made for, though? What? Uh, the goo ashes. Oh, really? This is uh, this is a guy in Kentucky. Give him a little shout out here. It's a wavy. So what is it? Wavy gravy. <laughs> it's wavy gravy something. Wavy gravy die co. Wavy gravy die company, and uh, he just makes the most epic tie dye shirts. Anything you want. I love tie dye, dude. Dude, look, this is ultimate warrior freaking he's got he can make anything in the middle. I'm like, that's that's amazing. That's but dope. he made but I sent him a picture of the uh goo ashes by Mosh. Yeah. And uh and I was just like, it, hey, just make me an ultimate got, warrior to match these colors. I got my goo ash shirt already in, so that means the shoes be here about a week or two. Oh, really? Yeah. So he's about a week or two behind the apparel. Casey, those are those are the expensive freaking shoes that he talked me into getting. He's like, dude, you got to have some of these, bro. I get every one of them. Us. Every time you drop, <laughs> I know you can, never, you can never get them again. I know it. Yeah, so send me yeah. the New Balance links. <laughs> hey, those New Balance are fine. I'm, I'm on the New Balance way right now. Yeah, I got fat feet anyway, so I can't fit in Nikes or anything. Yeah, New Balance are really good. They're really good for like swollen foot days. Like refeed days, they're like that's my everyday foot. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I got those X racers coming in. The ones those are nice, man. On. I There's like something them. different. There's something different. I like those. They had white ones too. Which one do you like better, the white or the that? I, I like that color. gray one that they got. Yeah, I think that's one you got, right? Yeah. It's like a grayish yeah. silver yeah. or something. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They got a black. They got like a grayish one, and then they got a white one. The white, yeah, white tan, is almost, too. yeah, it's white with a tan pocket. Okay, yeah, that one, yeah. that's one. Yeah, so, yeah, waiting on, uh, waiting on that to come in and uh, freaking look at, I haven't even taken my shoes off from the gym. Oh. You're going to catch a cramp. You're going to catch a <laughs> adductor cramp. You're going to get a adductor cramp. Yeah, those are nice, man. I don't have those. Hey, dude. That's something I don't have, man. Hey, hey, for a freaking can of Titan Fuel, my boy Jesse Fox coming through, dude. 
Listen, he had a pair of Jordans. Uh, I went to, I played college football with him. And, uh, and we lived in the same dorm. He was down the hall. Dude always has some fresh Jordans on. I look outside one day. He's taking Jordans to the trash room. And he sent him in there. I was like, Fox, what are you doing throwing away them Jordans, dog? <laughs> He's like, you want them? I was like, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they were fives too, in good shape. Uh, they were just, they were just yellowed a little bit on that little mesh on the side. It's, yeah, yeah. And uh, he was just like, man, I, I'm done with these, man. That didn't got yellow on me. <laughs> I was like, dang, brother. So that's funny. He get, he hooked me up with another pair of fives. So this, these are in pretty good shape, though. Yeah. So. That's a nice pickup, man. You can wear know. those with anything, too. Yeah. Yeah. What color shoestrings would you put in them? Just keep, keep them keep white. white. Yeah. And they get some fresh white ones. They're a little dirty. Yeah. You could just use, like, the ones you got in your ones or whatever. Like, extra pair that you got. Yeah. 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 I've got this little, uh, I've got this little bowl from, uh, where did I get this from? Somewhere in Mexico. This is my shoestring bowl. <laughs> <laughs> so I got the gate, got the Gatorade shoestrings, and got some of those for those ones I arted up. The rest are somewhere in this mess. <laughs> so, guys, we just rambled. That was a great ramble, but let's get into weekly weights how many weeks we are currently out for the new listeners and all, right. all that good stuff who's up first let's get you. it casey casey okay. go ahead we just we just <laughs> talked about shoes for 10 minutes <laughs> <laughs> so my weight's been hovering still around 254 but obviously um if you guys see me on instagram i'm actually looking a little bit better so you know, I'm not too worried about weight right now. Had a little refeed. Weight didn't really budge much at all. So I'm going to go ham on Sunday. So I'm waiting forward to that. <laughs> and uh, we, what we're, because um, me and James are the same amount of weeks out. I think we're like seven weeks. Seven, seven like, exactly. Like, today. Yeah, or seven in one day. Seven in one yeah. day. And then we international, our North Americans, it's like 13.5. So I'm mostly focusing on the second show. The first show, I'm just going to kind of cruise through. I don't know if I'm, I think you got a better strategy than me, man. I don't know if you want to hold on to North Americans like this. I know, but you're killing it. I'm like, I'm trying to tell myself to pull back a little bit because my body's changing. And so I'm like, I got to just, because I'm already getting like in that zone where I want to cut more. But I'm like, just yeah. listen to my body, do my devil days, you know, increase some output a little bit so I don't have to decrease any of my intake. So, yeah. My my problem is I got all these local dudes, man. They're fucking hating on me. I gotta shut them up. <laughs> I love it. I gotta get my title because I, I wanted the 2019 and have it last year, so I gotta defend my titles. Yeah, hey, he's looking swollen. Just... He's looking swollen at Camp Jansen today. Yeah. Hey, hey. If I can't have Chick Fil A. I'll just wear I was, this. I was about I know, to say Chick Fil A. So I was about to... I love Chick Fil A. I was about to say, hell, you signed up. You signed up with him just to eat Chick Fil A, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He hits me up yesterday. Yeah, sorry, no cheat meals uh, this weekend. Yeah, to push through. See where at Monday. All right, let's go. <laughs> 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 uh, I should have taken more advantage of last weekend. We we're trying I, to tell you, right? That's my my regret. We're like, go get a refeed. You've been killing on Peloton. Your body was good dropping. We're like, go get that refeed. I should have taken advantage. I did a stupid. I did a worse refeed than barley. And like chicken and rice. <laughs> and I, I did a lot of clean carbs. We're like, cool. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you have? You had a box of cereal or something, didn't you? Rice checks. That ain't bad. Yeah, right. Box of rice jacks and like two meals of like 150 cards each and like beef. Yeah, yeah. Boring. Hey, hey that's why you shredded this week. Yeah, so I went from 267 last week to 257.4 today. You're going to pass me up. I lost 10 pounds this week. 
<laughs> wow, dude. And I set all PRs in the gym, and I set two Peloton PRs, a 20-minute one and a 30-minute one. Dude, you're free. I, ju I just set one like you're too, an hour ago. You're too old to be doing that. I know. I fucking love it, though, man. <laughs> I love training. I love it. That's awesome, dude. When well, Matt told me I couldn't have a cheat meal this weekend, I was like, he said I was fat. I was like, fuck yeah, oh, roger fun. that. He's, yeah. like, he's like, you got 15 pounds loose. Well, I lost one yesterday. So, all right, 14 more. Go. Here we go. You got you got 14, <laughs> and I've got I've got 16 as of this morning. I was 246.2. Oh, morning. I was talking about just fat. I got more weight to lose. I got yeah. 20. I got 20 pounds of weight to lose. Yeah. Yeah. Glenn's 237. So, 257 today. Oh, yeah. We got, yeah, I got what? That means I have 17 pounds loose or something like that. Yeah. That's not bad. I also you, you could literally do that by tomorrow if you wanted to. No. <laughs> like, if you wanted that to really good. do it. A good, weeks I mean. If I wanted to, yeah. I would too. Yeah. yeah. So the plan so probably, is oh, sorry. The plan is to get me down to like 244, like pretty fucking gnarly looking. Mm -hmm. And then just drop a little bit of water and make 237 and then fill back up. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I'm not gonna drop probably below that for the first show. Second show, I'll be right at 237 going into it, but first show will be a drop of water. Which will be good for me because really I didn't have to cut weight too hard my last time I competed to make 237. And I ended up weighing in at like 233 for both yeah. shows. So if I could really just, you know, because I started like my like water cut at like 238, 239 that uh -huh. day, and I went down to 233 by weigh ins. But now if I start at 245, I think that's a new significant amount of muscle gain on stage. Hey, yeah, easily. Hey, put that arm up there again. Let me see it suck. Yeah, baby. Hey, yeah. I can see the veins coming in through the lower tricep oh, meat. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Zap. <laughs> hey, that one is shaped identically to this one. Yeah. It's you see the same exact indention. Look at that. Yeah. Casey, throw yours up there for thumbnail. I don't got no triceps. <laughs> I like Marcus oh, Rule. Yeah. Oh, you got it. <laughs> what are you talking about? You had no triceps. Oh, look, look at that long head. Look at that no. long head you got. No, I got nothing. He got that big long head. No, I don't. Hey, that's like a lobster. That's a lobster. It's just, ball right my there. screen's cutting it off. My elbow's way down here. <laughs> I got sunburn. See, my elbow's way down here. My screen was cutting it off. <laughs> so I got small triceps. It's all angled. Don't. I feel like that make it no, look No, you have a really big long head. Yeah, that's, that's me. See, I have right more there, lateral dude. head than I do long head. I've been oh, trying so to work my work, long. I've been working long head. From this way for that golden arrow look. Yeah. Yep. I've been, I, only, I only do long head tricep exercises. Yeah. Hey, this, this right here is my favorite all time yeah me too if my elbows allow it that's the only problem with that one sometimes my elbows what i found I gotta... works better is a um, single cable arm and you lean forward so you're pretty much like leaning over almost 90 degrees and then you let it stretch up and then you pull it down then extend that that's, go what, up. I do. that's yeah, what i do it's that nice stretch and it almost I almost feel a lot do, better i almost do all tricep Jeez. over cables for elbows yeah, I wore off on cables. I'll sometimes finish on some free weight, but like I'll do the um, free weight dip machine just for a little bit more weight on there. So I get some compound move for triceps, but usually it's a lot of cable. Yeah, me too. I just, I feel like the best arm exercises are the ones that don't hurt your elbows. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because yeah, it yeah, just there's... affects your training. Like it affects everything else. Yeah, if we're going to lose our legs one day from squatting. We need to be able to hold on to our walking sticks, you know? Yeah. Here's a tip, guys, coming from coming from you boys. You know, just because you see somebody doing a particular exercise doesn't mean that that exercise is the one for you. You know what I mean? Nope. Like, you know, you, nope. just because you saw Ronnie Coleman, you know, doing this doesn't. I mean was watching him. As a matter of fact, I was watching Ronnie Coleman, the 2000 Olympia prep one. And he was doing those dumbbell senses like that. There is nothing that hurts my elbows more than that movement. Man. Hey, I said I said Ronnie Coleman because I'm going through my stories here. It's yeah, all, it's I'm all watching you watching that, that today. Partly. 
That's great. That's great. All right. Let's pull some questions up here. First okay. question. Is water wet? Yes. <laughs> I'd say yes too, because you know people are like no, but it's like it's I think I think scientifically you prove it wrong. It's not wet because it's uh, it's just it's wet is a perception, right? So it's not actually wet because it's it's hydrogen and uh, oxygen. Yeah, but I'll say it's this: not, if you lived in water your whole life like a fish, and then you went into the air, you'd be like, I'm dry. So is air dry or is it just lacking or have more <laughs> moisture in it? You know, it's like the air is technically yeah. dry. Yeah. Okay. In some places it's drier than others. I know because if does it have moisture or is it lacking moisture? But that's yeah. water. So that would be wet air versus dry air. <laughs> no, it's wet. hundred percent. It's wet. Or there's like, dude, like hard water isn't really wet. Cause like you're taking like a shower in hard water. It doesn't yeah. like the like the foam the like soap doesn't like bubble up and just kind of goes right off of you. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> yeah, it reminds me of growing up in the ghetto. It feels like there's soap all over you. Soft water it, annoys me. I keep trying to rinse the soap uh, off and I'm like flip free. I'm like, what the heck? It takes like 30 <laughs> minutes to take a shower in some soft water. <laughs> I hate it. I'm too you feel, wet, that you feel wet after you take your towel and you dry off. Yeah. Hey, I got some at so water's not wet, it's soft. Yeah. Hey, I got some at Sasquatch. So <laughs> you see them commercials? Oh, really? Yeah, I yeah, see that, them all over Instagram. That men's uh health clinic that I go to to do the the infrared sauna and the red light. And uh he's got a bunch of different you know scents in there of soap. I was like, man, I'm actually out of soap right now. Let me let me get one of these. I'll Venmo him. You know what I mean? So Is it good? Uh, it's pretty soft. It's different because it's a block. You know, if I do, if I use a bar of soap, it's usually like a, a smaller. I hate bars. You use bars. About half. I'm the a time. liquid guy. I'm about a liquid soap time. guy. Really? I don't like bars. Yeah, yeah, I like it to suds up. I don't like the like a bars make you feel like, like your skin sticky. It's like, yeah, and I always drop it. Yeah, it gets all dry. It dries out <laughs> the skin. Not that I'm in prison or anything. It really matters in my shower, my yeah. home, but. Yeah. I always drop the soap. <laughs> hey, it's good for it's good for a quick shower. I like to have it in there for a quick shower. I feel you know like I mean? sometimes you quicker. run it late. You need to. I, I don't feel know, like liquid's quicker. Me too, I, because you don't need like lathered up or anything with the water. Yeah, there's bucket. no lather time. It's just it's already it's already there. Yeah. I don't know. I grew up using a bar of soap, so it's like muscle memory. <laughs> you know what I mean. It's just like my dad. My dad would always buy the Irish Spring bars of soap. Irish Spring, yeah. <laughs> Dude, all dads buy that scent. <laughs> yeah, he would buy like boxes like this big of it. I always yeah. it was never. It was always in the house. <laughs> all right. Um, after you turn pro, will you continue to p compete? If so, why? Heck yeah. Uh, I'll answer this one. If I if I get a pro card, I'm gonna do one pro show that I'm done. Hey, Why? Man. Because I'm gonna be 35 here next month, yeah. and I know that I don't have the structure to be super competitive in pro bodybuilding, and so I think it would just be a waste of my time and health to keep on competing. Yeah. Here's uh here's what I'm thinking as I take my center right here, baby. Goes a little center right and money. It's super expensive to compete. Also, it is. Hey guys, <laughs> hey guys, y'all be quiet. I'm I'm getting shredded here. Got a little little scoop, fat free. I mean, stem free. It is fat free. <laughs> <laughs> fat burner. It will It'll be out in a couple free. weeks. It'll it'll come out in a couple weeks. I've been taking it twice a day. Hey, I'm getting shredded. You know, of course I'm doing two hours of cardio and eating poverty macros, you know, that, that does help you get traded too, you know, but, uh, <laughs> but I do take it every day. So, um, yeah. Does it help if with I, appetite? Do you have an appetite suppressor? It, it does because the flavor is so freaking good. It's a uh, raspberry lemonade. 
Uh, and it's just like it's it's going to be my best flavor I've got so far. It's just a, it's a different, you know. You're not jamming. If you think about, I don't know if you've ever smelled raw um, EAAs. It's terrible. terrible, terrible. That's all you could get back okay. in the day when I first okay. started. So there's there's a lot that goes into flavoring my yeah. pre AA because I've got the EAAs in it <laughs> to mask, and I've got um, the pre workout stuff in there too. So I mean, and people people love that flavor, but when you've got the freedom of just a this is like a little five gram scoop or something tiny, you know, when you've got that much space to work with, you know, you can do something a little different. Uh, but anyway, getting back to the, if you turn pro, we compete. If so, why? If I turn pro at the first show, Junior Nats, I'll compete in the fastest pro show right after. <laughs> Hey, hey, I would Chicago. love, I would love to turn pro and go to the Puerto Rico. The Dallas, pro. I think it'd be the Dallas. Puerto Rico. Oh, it'd be Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico pro. I think it's actually in the Bahamas. Yeah, it it's, is. Uh, it's two fun. weeks. It's two weeks after Junior Nats. That that'd would be, be a, that would be a vacation. So that'd be the first, pro, uh, like, that'd be like, wow. That experience you wouldn't forget for a first pro show. Let's put it Bahamas. Up. Bahamas is dope too. I went and then he would bring his Jesus sandals and be bloated on the beach afterwards. Oh, he'd be eating Papa John's in less than three <laughs> minutes. <laughs> be sliding off the fake tan all over the beach. Hey, you know how crazy he'd be it would a be? hog. His head, his head would be this big. <laughs> the veins everywhere. Hey, Barry Bonds will I'll be swelled up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I've got, uh, I've got a big group of friends going to the Bahamas that week too. I was like, man, that would be destiny right there. Epic. That'd be yeah. epic. That so, would be cool. So, um, and if I don't go pro junior Nats, which I plan on, if I don't, I'll do, uh, I'll probably do team universe two weeks after, you know, I think it's in, uh, Charleston. So, uh, a good location. Yeah, my my I buddy, just, my good buddy, of mine is doing class D. Marcus. Oh, is he? Yeah. See, I always look better my second show. You know, that's how it's always been for me. Maybe, maybe if I can get early, about a week here, I can uh, hit a small load. I don't know. It, it's it gets tricky when you get this close. You know what I mean? You want to get fat free and. uh but you don't want to, you don't want to I got, turn out. I got much. a question for you guys. Yeah. Let's say I did a show July 17th, Saturday. Do you think I could come around and do Nat Masters Nationals the next Wednesday? Yeah, that's, that's what I did for Olympia. That's what yeah, I did for five Olympia. You could do that if you um, just don't have any cheats afterwards and keep it nice and steady. Or you can cheat like you know, me and then fast loaded, today. So you'll have to, yeah, you'll just have to be dehydrated back on the show because you'll already be loaded. Yeah. So, what did you do for training in between them? Did you train? If so, how? James, it was ideal, actually. It was it was great. Because so you just hit the gym the next day? Yeah, everything was the same. I fasted the next day because I had to weigh in on Monday. I had to freaking weigh in on Monday. Oh, I would have to of, weigh in. So I'd have to weigh in Tuesday. Oh, so yeah. you got an extra day. Tuesday. You got an extra day. That's extra day. that's great because what I had to do is I had to I had to fast the entire day the next day just to empty my gut from me and Casey's cheat meal and all the loading <laughs> food before that. <laughs> I woke up I woke up uh Sunday morning after the show. I was 17 pounds over the cap. And I was just like well, I've got to weigh in in a day. I've got to lose 17 pounds, guys. Man, so, that, that place eat. that we ate at, what was that? Danish Pastico or something? <laughs> yeah, that was I fire. I thought it was That yeah. place was so good. Yeah. Doing us that Old dessert. Pasties. And, and you had a fly. Pasty. And you had a fly. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, luckily I stayed at my, at my buddy Bart's house. And, uh, 
he said, hey, the upper floor is yours, man. Make yourself at home, lose this weight, soak in bathtubs as long as you need to, run as hard as you need to. When you need to go, when you want to go to the gym, let me know. I'll drive you there. We'll go to the sauna. We'll go jacuzzi at his gym. I was like, man, this is freaking clutch. So I had everything I needed to, to lose that weight. Yeah. If you can, you know, if you have access to the sauna. Hold on, I'll know it's Americans. Yeah, that's going to be a while after, too. How much time is between that? Six weeks, right? About six. Yeah. It's like yeah. five and a half, I think, because I'm like mid yeah. show. Yeah, it's like five and a half. But it's still like over another month. That's why I'm just like not even – I'm not going to kill myself for the first show. I'm like, no. Because <laughs> right after the first show is when I'll start entering the death phase completely. <laughs> <laughs> See, I can't do so, that. I can't do that. Yeah. Do you think if you enter the death phase for longer, though, you come in harder? No, not necessarily. You, you come in worse. Because I've done both, honestly. I've done both. Because I tried Always. to stay in that phase for a while, and I just I, my, I started wasting away because I got too obsessed with cardio and stuff. So it's like, for me, it's like I need to actually, like, very pace myself mentally or else I'm going to just run myself to the ground. <laughs> so it's it's such a mental game guys anybody it's all listening? mental really it is freaking it's freaking mental just because you, you you're second guessing everything and not only I that but your energy your energy is in the in the tank i can't I mean, wait to have that though i want that i know i love it when you give I me an update it. and you're like dude i'm dead right now <laughs> <I'm freaking> dead. <laughs> that's that's the only good part is when you feel bad, but then you check the mirror and you're like, okay. You're and, like, you look, and you look really good and you're like, fuck yeah, yes. It's working. Yeah. And then you get energy and you're like, yeah. Yeah. I made it, baby. I made it. Hey, if you can make it them, through like, those zombie I'm, phases without yeah. without caving, if you can if you can or make it through dying. that. But, Chad, yeah. Chad Nichols talked about that with Rami. And that was the yeah. first time he, Rami ever got to that death phase. Yeah, and he's like, "All right, you're here now. We got a little bit more to go." Yeah, uh -huh. what happened? Yeah, well, Mr. Olympia. Yeah, see, it's crazy that people that didn't even, you know, Big Rami didn't even know his potential. You know, well, they were saying his guys that were like his support over in Egypt were like, yeah. "He needs to go to the doctor. He needs to quit stop dieting. He doesn't feel good." They got scared. <laughs> they got scared. <laughs> hey. They so that's what probably they, happened over all those years was you yeah. like would just back off a little bit. Yeah. 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 Well, if he had to wait to make like us and <laughs> he'd experience it because I, I have to, I have to go through that for a few weeks. That's the worst right. is making weight. If you already depleted, then you have to dehydrate to make weight. Like Barley did it way worse than I did, but still just like, <laughs> that's the worst time. Yeah. Shoot. I'll tell you what, I'll be able to hit a vacuum good tonight after my stomach clears out. <laughs> I've been doing dead bugs, man. Get my transverse. I can't do it. I, still got I started doing parts dead, in there. I started doing <laughs> dead bugs. What's it's dead really bugs? working my transverse. It's like sucking them back in. My ass. That's dead bugs. Show me. Oh, I can't show you, but you get you on, the floor. on your back like a dead bug. Yeah, you lie, you lie on your back. You, you put your heels about three to five inches off the ground, and then you lift your shoulder blades about an inch off, and then you keep oh, your okay. hands up, and you okay. hold it like a plank. Okay. And then what you, what you focus on is bringing your belly button to your uh, spine the whole time. Sheesh. And it's and like it it's much harder than a plank, and it's I'm like go back. I could feel like it's sucking it back, pulling it back in, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I need to go hit abs and sauna tonight. Hey, full, full You're going back. Better. Hey, session three, baby. You're full That's time. That's why I'm going to Hey, I'm full time bodybuilder right now, dude. You're full. Yeah, dude, I love it. You're all in. Hey, I was on that freaking. Let Let's talk about this. This is a PR for me. Two hours on recumbent bike without even getting up. Two hours. That's, that's stupid. <laughs> On Monday, I did 45 Two minutes hours. on the bike at yeah. the base gym because I had to stay late, so I had to get my cardio in there. Yeah. And I didn't have any headphones or nothing. I thought I was going to die. I didn't do yeah. headphones either today. 
I, I but, but I did go in the uh, cardio cinema. <laughs> and so all the lights were off oh. my, my belly was bloated dude from from eating all that last night man i was just like man i don't even want nobody to look at me i just want to sit in here and suffer in silence i was like i don't want no headphones i'm just gonna freaking watch this movie twice <laughs> dude dude the, the movie went off from start to finish i looked up and the credits were going you know you could have flown to like new york in that amount of time yeah yeah but instead but instead i just carved a half a centimeter off my glutes possibly <laughs> possibly possibly how awesome would it be dude if they had like a um, first class section a railroad section then like a workout section on a plane so you can sit back down on a bike and pedal to keep the blood flow moving because get sitting on a plane is the worst just sitting I, still for two hours i hold so much water from flying it's fucking Dude. outrageous. I don't know one, what it is. My one, body. Time, one time I tried to do drink. a different kind of load. And don't so drink. I didn't drink any water, right? So my my idea was to not drink any water because I woke up at 2.37 and I had to fly to Miami. So like, I'm not going to drink any water, but I'm going to start putting some carbs in so that when I get to weigh it's I can just drink water to spill right up. I ate carbs and didn't drink any water all day. I land, I checked the scale, I was up 15 pounds. <laughs> and I was like, what the heck? I was like, I have to take a diuretic to get in shape for tomorrow morning because wait, it's the morning. <laughs> Dang. That oh, happens to me. So well, I started like snacking on some peanuts and stuff. I was like, I'm not going to make weight, but I end up making it right <laughs> on the dot. <laughs> that happened to me. That happens to me with flying, man. I don't know what it is. Some people get dehydrated, but I blow up like a whale. Dude, it was horrible. So now I just don't eat any carbs if I know I'm flying. I just keep drinking tons no. of water. If, to keep if, you, if you fast, you won't, you won't get nothing. That's what yeah, I was that's a, that's a, a fast when I'm flying. Protein and water. Protein and water. That's yeah. all I do. Yeah. Protein sodium. Water. What about sodium? Yeah, I keep salt on there. Okay. Because you're so you're flushing so much by drink because I'm literally just drinking water. Because I drink one of these between each meal. So I get about two and a half gallons a day. So it's like I'll just keep drinking that throughout. And I bring all these water bottles with me now. So it just you just literally keep flushing. Damn. You gotta buy that airport water. It's just expensive. Dude, it's so expensive. <laughs> Hey, here's how you solve that. You just don't eat or drink nothing. <laughs> That's what I do. I eat, I eat good the night before and uh, wake up. If if I've got to make weight that day, not yeah, definitely not drinking nothing. My last flight, I played a little bit of an experiment. I took a mild diuretic during my flight mm -hmm. and I didn't hold any water. It just worked out pretty good. There you go. Uh huh. Yeah, like very mild, like 1.25 HCTZ. Uh -huh. Yeah. And hey, it just is... kept me flushing. Yeah, there I'll probably go. do the, um, what's it called? The little expel, the little natural ones. That works little, pretty good, those, actually, man. Those work pretty well. That's why that works pretty well. Yeah, that's why I did for nationals last year. And that was my best look. So I just kept that steady and I just kept my water. Because, like, even the day before the show, I drank, like, five of these. Okay. That's still, that's still going flat, though. <laughs> you know what else works pretty good? It's waterboard from Red Gun. I haven't tried, tried that. Yeah, that one's a little, it's a little harsher, or a little bit more, like, hey, next level from XFL. Hey, uh -huh. speaking, speaking of Red Con, <clears throat> I'm glad y'all talked me into going last week. That was fun. You had a good time, man. Dude, that was a blast. And, and I was only there for two three hours but it's all I, I saw all i need to see you know talk to some good people uh george the bull he was probably one of the most humble cool down to earth dudes we talked forever Seems cool i want um, his back dude dude we talked we talked about some back stuff and i was like man i never you know i heard him say in an interview the other day that you know it's all about opening up your chest as much as possible he says, that's how I engage my back is I'm opening my chest. I'm stretching my chest as far back as I can. So if, if you try to isolate like that and you imagine that, you can it's, – it's a different level mentally, you know, yeah. mind-muscle connection, which makes sense because <laughs> he's got one of the best backs in the game. But uh, Yeah. But, yeah, they had good food. Freaking Singerman's got a freaking spread, dude. And he only lives there two months a year. 
Yeah, he's so, doing all right for himself. He's <laughs> just all right. Yeah, he's he's killing it. He's killing it. But but he's a great dude. I talked to him for for a while. He remembered me from uh, I set up beside the Redcon One booth when they had uh, the Carbon Culture Grand Opening, and uh, so I talked to him there. You know, <laughs> hey, I was having I have a blast at the when I set up the Titan Fuel booth. I have a blast, dude. Especially if it's off season, if it's off season, you know, might might mix a little uh, tequila and Titan fuel. You know what I mean? Jeremiah, <laughs> Jeremiah, and that's Titan. what I, that's that's what I did one time. Me, TNT special. I, yeah, me and a couple girls were working the booth, and I was like, "Hey, if y'all, hey, this, if y'all want to be social, here you go." <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Juju Mufu. He's like, dude, you've got unreal energy, man. I was like, well, yeah, well, I had a couple shots. I want to work. <laughs> I want to hang out with him. I want to hang out with him in his new gym. Yeah, come on. He's got a sick gym, man. He made he yeah. like he got like some dope equipment, man. He built that whole like uh building for the gym by his house. Yeah, he's a stud. I'm ready to see him compete finally. Yeah. He keeps teasing it, you know what I mean? Well, his show got canceled, that's why. Yeah. So yeah, postpone it. Question. Uh, do y'all have a food question? I've got a bunch of bodybuilding ones. Yeah, I can go check, but tell me if you can still hear me because I got a good cheat meal one. I'm just on my <laughs> phone, so I try to remember most of them by my head, okay. but I can't remember all of them. Um, so it says, please talk about what a proper cheat meal looks like and when to utilize it properly. So How what do does you a proper so yeah, we're saying, it? so we're saying cheat meal, not cheat meal. meal. No cheat meal. Do what whatever does a proper the, cheat meal look like, and how do you utilize proper? In my opinion, a cheat meal is used more for psychological benefits. So go get what you enjoy, and I like to okay. put like a twenty-minute, or maybe let's say thirty-minute timeline <laughs> max. And that's it. Get I just say one. System, get yeah. your head right. I just say I just say one sitting. You know. <laughs> Yeah, so I say one they, sitting, they, but they I say get, 30 minutes. Yeah. Because yeah. some some of my clients would be like going two hours on me. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they'll have an M&M, they'll just keep going. Yeah. And then just, yeah, they'll 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 <laughs> load up the coffee table with all the snacks and sit down and watch yeah. a movie and be like, hmm, yeah, let's get yeah. this next. I, <laughs> I put a timeline on it. And I and I think it's more psycho. If we're talking cheat meal, it's more for like a psychological benefit. So you just need to get yeah. kind of what you want from it. I usually um, tell my clients the same thing it's usually uh you know what do you want what do you want you know what what's gonna fire you up enough to diet your butt off for six days and what is it that you want that would be a reward for your hard work dieting all week what is that you know yeah. what, what is that to you is that burger and fries is that pizza and uh you know some uh diet ice cream you know i don't really want to a I don't really want to put the the females on a freaking pint of Ben and Jerry's and large pizza. You know what I mean? So I, I tell them, I tell them to be reasonable with where they're at and where they're trying to go, you know, in your, in your body type, you know, you don't have to do nothing crazy, but yeah, enjoy something that's going to be in, in surplus of what you've normally doing dieting during the week. Yeah. I'd say the same thing as both of you guys, a kind of a combination of that. And also, like, if you if you just mentally need to cheat, that's one thing, you know. But it's like if your lifts are going down and your pumps are going down and your mental is going down, then it's definitely time for a cheat meal. You know what I'm saying? It's like fill up the glycogen, relax for a minute, defrag, and get back to it tomorrow real hard. So, and then obviously with the cheat meal, I think we all do about the same thing. Usually our weight with a proper cheat meal, especially when we're lean, will go up about two pounds the next day. And then the day after that, we'll be back even, and then you'll fall back down below. So the how big and how to utilize it just depends on the person's body and how much they're actually burning what their output is. So that's yeah, I think all. It's a, I think it depends the individual too, like how the yeah, size. Yeah, it's very goes. individual. Because like I'll put on more just because I feel like I can hold more like water and shit. But like yeah. the, like my smaller guys, they only put on like a two pounds. Yeah, three pounds. Uh -huh. You get like us, like us. We probably we put on like ten, probably. Oh yeah, pretty, yeah. Pretty, pretty no, I'm eating all day, easy. Yeah, <laughs> you know, but like a, a proper cheat meal, you know, is about that two to 
I mean, it could be two to five, depending on how late you eat or whatnot and how much your water intake is after the cheat meal. Yeah. But usually within the third day, you see the weight even out again and then drop down below for the remaining two to three days before you have another one. So yeah. it's like, like we've talked about this before. It's like, we'll dig deep and then have that refeed where it bounces our weight up a few pounds. And then a few days later, it's already dipping back underneath and we just push down even farther. And then the next time we have a cheat, we're back to where we kind of were right here, but it keeps going down, you know, yeah. the baseline yep. keeps moving down. Yep. Something that y'all probably do as well is, you know, some weeks I'll utilize a, a cheat meal with a client and some, some weeks it'll be a clean cheat, you know, oh, yeah. let's, let's do, you know, let's do something like a sushi or a steak and potato you know, a good meal out versus, you know, box of donuts or. <laughs> yeah. And, <laughs> you know I, and I mean? it's also individual dependent. Cause yeah. I have some yeah. guys that just like, can't do cheat meals. Like they fuck it up every time. <laughs> so it's like, <laughs> they, I got to get them like real depleted for them to earn a cheat meal. But like some of them have to lay out exactly what it is. Like I'll be like one five guys burger, one medium fry, two it chicken is. sandwiches, one waffle fry. This is absolutely fire, by the way. If y'all uh, need a good diet drink, Mountain Dew, zero sugar, major melon, baby. I can't do diet, but I anyway. can't believe you're drinking. I can't it's believe you're drinking good. diet soda three weeks out of the national. Oh, hey, hey, shoot! Hey, get Dude, who's doing that? Who's drinking? Hey, no calories. Earlier. No Just calories. Diet, shit. diet, fucking pop tarts. Diet, fucking soda. Hey, get diet, shredded, baby. Maple syrup. Hey, <laughs> diet shreds. Hey, dot, <laughs> dot shreds, baby. <laughs> he is science experiment. It's like, if you guys don't think diet works, look at this body. I'll uh, diet, baby. Hey, Built by what, diet food. Hey, what do you Built think about these? Carbs. <laughs> Built by fake carbs. Built by fake carbs. We think about these artificial sweeteners. <laughs> 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 Let's go, baby. <laughs> hey, hey, pl hey, pluck at heart right there, baby. You saw it heart. You saw it harp come out. <laughs> Sweet sounds. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, yeah. uh, you gotta love it, boys. You gotta love it. Uh, this is a good one. If bodybuilding added a special talent event to the competition, what are y'all doing? What's your special talent that you would do on stage? <laughs> I can actually do decent voice impersonations, but I'm not going to do any right now. <laughs> no, you got to do at least one. If it's it's a hidden talent, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, so you'd oh, basically that's... be a comedian on stage. Yeah, I could. I could do that. I used to be able to blow bubbles with just my tongue, you know. I would do the floss. <laughs> what? <is that? laughs> I saw that video the other day. Horrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that. <laughs> <laughs> i don't know man i don't move like that i don't move like that now what would y'all do for real yeah by voice impersonations dude i honestly me on stage talking is not good like even in high school people like you should be a stand-up comedian because i do impersonations just joke around in class but i'm like i'm in a classroom environment me isolated on a stage where everyone's staring at me i I'm, i'd freeze anxiety would go way up so and i'm happy that. they do not have any hidden talent anything in bodybuilding <laughs> i don't know what i do man but i guarantee one of my it, hidden talents is silly. eating an enormous amount of food like hey, bring me mcdonald's same. i was like we're gonna watch you eat for same. 30 minutes this do the 100 season. nuggets in like five minutes <laughs> dude i was straight i was straight in hell hot dogs oh goodness i've seen that video <laughs> that. All the old guys in the crowd like, ooh. <laughs> you watch that waistline go from like a nice like 34 yeah. to like a fucking yeah. 42. Yeah. About Boy, five back years. First Just now. Blow, blown out, son. When you're that lean, you could probably see like the hot dog. Like, <laughs> get lodged. <laughs> hey, dude, you know how you know how hardcore the veins come out through your stomach when you're real full and everything's pressing against yeah. it? Yeah. 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 It's always crazy. What would I do? Hey, one time I did uh, break, unofficially break Guinness World Record for pogo stick jumps with no hands. Really? <laughs> yeah, it was like 700 some. In a row? Good. Yeah. yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah. It took me like, it took me almost an hour to do it. 
holy crap man. Yeah, yeah it was like 45 minutes or something of just straight pogo sticking and so i had to lodge the the handlebars in the in the middle of my quads there so I, i'm standing on the on the little pedals i'm bracing my quads against the bar and i'm just bouncing just hopping away dude was this when you were a kid yeah <laughs> so uh I don't know if I want to do that in uh, a pair of poses and trucks. <laughs> I don't think there's a pose that can hold you. <laughs> no, no. People have to watch you for an hour, and he's like, they're breaking the record. <laughs> the show goes on for four days. I don't know. <laughs> you know, at that depleted weight, it might be kid-like for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question, though. I, I really don't know. Uh, I like to play guitar a little bit, but I would have to – I would have to freshen up my strings, start playing yeah. a little bit more. I ain't had much time to play. Uh, yeah. Eight I can actually 20. draw, too. I used to draw a lot of good stuff in high school. We'll just don't draw often. Hey, can you paint me a Birmingham? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I've only done one paint because I usually like hey, black. Do you remember white, that song? You know? Do you remember that song, though? You have to play it. Paint me a Birmingham. <laughs> it's a whole country song. I ain't gonna play it. I've probably heard it. Yeah. I'm one of those old it's country toilets like you listen to while you're driving somewhere. By like Tracy Bird or something. It's fire. Or Tracy Lawrence. You should pose to it. Dude, don't make me do it. You should. Hey, that'd be fire in Chattanooga, Tennessee, Free. posing to yeah, free the country. Well, country. I know people Woo! back. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, good idea there, brother. Good idea. Uh, let's see. If you could go back to the beginning of your bodybuilding career, what's one thing you would have done differently? I would have picked exercises that worked for me. Very good answer. Pretty much that. I think we've answered this before. And it's like, learn before I go into the gym. Because the little injuries I got, just listening to what my friends told me to do and the form they told me to use. Like, yeah. if I just knew who John Meadows was and I researched before yeah. I got in the gym, I would yeah. have been way better. Yeah. Or I would say learn biomechanics. Un understand biomechanics. Yeah. Like, bench, you just, the bench way out here. Yeah. It's not what the pecs do. Yeah, exactly. So if you just understand biomechanics, then everything kind of makes sense from there. Yeah. Well, I've when you're, like, when you're choosing your sense. Touch the yeah. chest, and then all of a sudden your shoulder's blown, and you're like... It's just like yeah. pet tendon strain. That's like all it is. Like It's, yeah. it's like Those rotator cuff and provide my belts, dude. Yeah, but let's, but let's be honest. Not many people are going to do that. Not many people before they start are going to look up how to do this because they won't understand anything. It's one of those things you kind of got to get in there and just learn on your own, you know, and I think, I think that's, that's part of it and probably why we've all had injuries because, you know, it's not like we well, weren't trying to learn, you know, we were reading magazines and doing everything, but you know what I mean? If you're operating machinery, you should at least be OSHA certified. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, you gotta have a forklift, right? License. Yeah. You, grab a forklift. Yeah. you have a certification yeah. for that machine, sir. I, I would yeah. say, I would say, ego. I would say, leave your ego at the door. It's something you hear, something we've said yeah. for a, for a long time. But at, at one point in time, you know, some guy challenged me to, you know, to hang with him on the hundred pound dumbbells when I was in high school. And, you know, of course, I'm not going back down. I got up under there and something popped and it messed my chest up for a year or two, you know. Yeah. I still got to be careful with it. It's a pec, uh, bicep it's tendon, pretty, pec, yeah. pec minor. And uh, so that's just one of those things you got to you, – you'll learn one way or another. But, yeah, yeah educate yourself. I didn't really ego lift too much, but me and my best friend did do a lot of one ups and that drove us to get so much better so quick. Cause it was like, we had just the, the competition aspect. So we were always pushing each other and trying to be better than one each other. So we just blew up super quick, you know? So it helped having a good training partner when you start. Yeah. 
how hardcore would it be S3 on leg day? I'd bury the fuck out of you, Barley. No, ain't no way, dude. <laughs> I mean, I've made hey, people quit the gym on hey, me. We so. train so different, man. No, hey, you you do you do that slow stuff. You you contract it perfect. Hey, listen, but when when the junkyard dog gets out, hey, I'm I'm burying reps and I'm firing up and I'm <laughs> getting nasty with it. I bury. Huh? <laughs> no. <laughs> When are we gonna do this? Hey, you can't, you can't. Hey, you can't bury me. Hey, you can't bury me if the Rock can't bury me. He said it. I've got proof. I've got a screenshot. I don't think the Rock. I, I'd bury the Rock. <laughs> <laughs> Who has the biggest quads in this group, though? What's hey. that? I said, who has the biggest quads in this group, though? Probably you. Because my leg training has been intense. Because I do a hybrid of both of what you guys do. I've, I've never heavy, seen some days it's high reps. Hey James, I don't have any evidence of him on leg day. I've never I've seen that. Of of Casey I've, no. made, I've made people quit and I've made people throw up. So I haven't seen a video of Casey lifting ever. Hey, me either. I need to I don't even know back in time. Listen. I don't really post much because I'm one of those people where I don't need to act hardcore to be hardcore. I don't Ooh. even know if Casey lifts partly. I, think I don't just, think he does. I think he just flexes just and gets eat. better. I just eat. He yeah, flexes he and gets, gets better. better. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he eats cookies and gets better, dude. Fucker. Yeah. Um, but in, in prep, I train a lot more methodical. I do a lot more Lee Haney kind of training back in prep, just so I'm not over pushing my body because I really need to pull back when I don't have a surplus, you know? Because it's like, you know how it gets in the off season. It's hey. like, I can't, like, like James said earlier on the chat, like, my leg day legit like this past off season i had a leg day where i couldn't even like walk for a while and then it took me literally like i think eight or nine days to recover i was like i need to pull back because i just go in there and kill myself and that's why off seasons a lot of times i'll do the bro split where it's one muscle group a day because i'll just annihilate that muscle and it will take at least a week to get back to it yeah i i my quads don't recover for at least five days at least no when you're doing like pre-exhausting and doing heavy hacks like if you crazy amounts of reps on like um leg press and then you go to the hack squat and just bury yourself on that and then do something like walking lunges and that's already after all the leg extensions and leg um, curls yeah. i do shit like that yeah it's well, horrible most of the leg exercises i do are in the length of position and that's what gets you sore yeah it's, it's so it's ridiculous yeah get that full range and stuff yeah and then but on the leg press too if you just utilize different uh, angles, because I know for to burn quads, three fourths the way up, three fourths the way down, and just get the contraction and just pump that out to where it's burning for like ten to twelve I, reps. I hey. quit lock. I quit locking my reps out on leg press, man. It's fucking murdering me. Hey, I need to see some shredded glutes. I need to see some shredded glutes. Where? Give me. <laughs> give me three. Give me. Give me four weeks. All right. Hey, I will be in at thirteen. <laughs> I, I wish i wish you could pop a couple fibers out now because it'd get me fired up get mine in from the side mine look good it's from the back they're still yeah. fucking fat yeah yeah oh mine mine are fat but i don't have any dimples anymore thank god i know <laughs> so i'm so <laughs> glad i got rid of my dimples <laughs> <laughs> It's like I'm noticing my glutes are getting tighter because you know when you're drying off after the shower and stuff, or you're washing yourself. I'm like, okay, they're yeah. starting to get some separation in the cheeks, yeah. but it's not like it's not peeled yet. Hey, about, hey, today, you know, to, today I felt my glute ham tie, and I could put my, I could put my hand around the glute ham tie in today, in between the adductor, like that. That's not a feeling I haven't felt so far in prep so i know i'm yeah i know, that's, I know exactly you're what you're talking what, about you know what i'm talking about so yeah i can feel where the glute connects down you know, uh, like yeah. that today when i was yeah i could feel mine on where it connects on the outside hey you know what I'm talking about? A, yeah yeah that's what i'm talking about um do y'all do abductors uh no. bad girls bad girls no, no. No, no, it's a terrible. It's actually a really bad exercise. It doesn't biomechanically work the glute medius correctly. Yeah, it doesn't really do anything. Yeah, hey, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, I did them tonight. And it's the best I ever felt them. I guess just because I was, uh, I'm, I'm just leaner and I can, I can feel 
but I can feel it working at the very bottom of my glute, dude. I'm not kidding you. Uh, very bottom. Sometimes yeah, just, I prep on a superset with that one just because. I but mean, like, I, was doing, I know what you're saying, but you have to yeah. you have to like lean forward in a weird yeah. position to really yeah. target it because if you sit back, yeah. it really doesn't do anything like yeah. the way the machine's designed. It's the same kind of it. Yeah. Yeah, you have to lean forward to keep your butt off the seat. And no, like I'm, literally not use like I lean the, back. I lean back on this one today. It was a, it was a hammer strength one. It was a, a different one than what I normally use. But I, I leaned back like that, and I had them going out, and I could feel the glute ham tie in at the very bottom of my glute. I could feel it's completely contracted. So I was like, you know, I'm banging out three sets of thirty reps here. Just when are we training work. legs? Hey, the summer, baby. Like four weeks after show, yeah. like we're still oh, kind of yeah. lean. Yeah, for but sure. like foods up, strengths all yeah. time high. Yeah, it looked like a, a I don't want to catch you like in there. I don't want any excuses of like me catching oh, you off like peak performance. Hey, there's never excuse around me leg day. That's my time, baby. Where are we training at carbon? Yeah, wherever you want to go. We're going down there, right? Yeah. That let we me can go fucking that out. Sure. Let me let me go out after. You can show me what's up. Let's go. Hey, I'm. I think I'm going to Nashville tonight. I think I'm going to run down to Nashville for a couple hours, come back, and finish up my gym stuff. Got hop in the shower real quick. Yeah, I was watching Ronnie. Man, he was a he was a full time cop when Mister O's. He fucking yeah. trained before work like you did the night shift. And when he got home, he did an hour on the treadmill. See, he used to do two hours a day too. So he's basically yeah. doing the same exact thing I'm doing, uh -huh. just a little more he barbecue did, sauce. He did, he did cardio <laughs> like me, where we just kind of walk and take it easy. Yeah, yeah. he did like three <laughs> miles an hour, no incline. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I do two point seven ten incline. Do you really? Wait, the ten incline? You said? Yeah, ten incline, two point seven, no hands, just sit there and walk. This morning I did uh, I did treadmill today for the first time in a while. I did three point two at ten. That was pretty fucking good. Yeah. If you watch me in real life, I'm a very slow person, though. Like <laughs> so so 2.7 is fast <laughs> enough for me. I'm not yeah. gripping by the end of it. <laughs> I like 3 at 10. 3 at 10 is my, what I usually uh, put it on. But That's why I did last prep. I feel like the faster I go, the less I could contract the hamstrings and the glutes. You know, So it's like yeah. I put it at a speed where I'm fast enough to where I'm moving and breathing heavy, but where I can still contract with each step. Yeah, I couldn't fucking get my heart rate up, man, because my cardio is getting so good. That's because you're doing Peloton. I don't do it. Yeah, right. I was like, it was like easy. Hey, I'll <laughs> tell you what's. I'll tell you what's going to dial the glutes in here the next two weeks is fasted stairmaster. Is That's that where you're going to? Hour fasted stairmaster every morning. Good luck. About two weeks out is when I stop doing anything that has to do with strenuous activities like that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I only got three weeks, so I need to hammer it hard this week, make a big another big jump in conditioning, and then I can start to ease off the cardio a little yeah. bit. Just, just to, watch the fullness the of your legs, though. You don't want to burn away your legs. Yeah, yeah. Because I've, I've burned away my legs before yeah. doing too much cardio like that. That's that's so. why I needed that refeed, man. Because I've been so I've basically been keto, but not even keto because I ain't got enough fats. Be keto. <laughs> You're, you know, you're glucogeonesis. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Gluco, gluconeogenic freaking. Yeah. I'm, I'm running I'm running off of fake carbs because from extra protein. Yeah. You know? But shoot. Well, it's all a big experiment, guys. So that's uh you know, there's nothing like <laughs> learning your body. So if if you if you're thinking about getting in shape, you know, it's never too late. Hop in the gym you know, live with a buddy, do something, be active, burn calories, and you're going to change, you know, even if you're eating the same, you know, you're still going to change adding that, uh, adding that caloric burn there every day. So yep. that's what, that's what it's all about. Staying healthy, working hard for something. So, all right, guys, we'll wrap it up here. Uh, I guess I'm going to go to Nashville and throw some, Throw some J's on. I'm going to go on the couch and Netflix. I'm going to go drop into Verdance with the boys. Fuck yeah. <laughs> That's some shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All 
All right, boys. Well, we'll catch you next week, guys. Appreciate your support. Uh, get you a bodybuilding cheat meals hat or t shirt. I'll uh, drop the link down below. Wore mine today. Hey, that's uh, my new beach hat, bro. I'm wearing that every day. Hey, it's, it's fresh, Love baby. It. Fresh. Love it. All right, guys. Y'all keep killing it. All right. Later. All right. See you guys. Take right. travels you to your destination. Want to bury right, your <laughs> legs, Barley. We're going to come up with a Never. bet. Too. Never. We're going to do a bet. Hey, we'll do a bet. I'll shave my eyebrows cool. off. No, no, no. You're going to have to grow <laughs> your hair out for six weeks. <laughs> I'll do it too. Uh, okay. It'll it'll be a travesty either because way. We can't so. do anything. We can't no, do anything no. here because of our All right, job. Whoever whoever wins will then get to face me. So I'll call oh, hey. the final boss. Hey, he's... Dude, it, it has to be the next day. Yeah, I'll show up wearing this. Let's hey, go. I think <laughs> I think Casey just lays down on one of those magnetic mats and just grows at night. Like he don't even he's like a science experiment or something well, he's he, he, pictures he's been posting yeah, with his waist yeah. like that fucking yeah big. yeah yeah and everything all fucking yeah. brown yeah <laughs> all That's my me. friends are like they're like dude i love casey because he like, comes on this podcast with like this hawaiian shirt and then i go see him post these fucking pictures and yeah. it's like a completely different human <laughs> <laughs> i know you know what's funny the other, the other day from... when Bartley was like oh your chest is looking full i was actually feeling pretty flat I was like looking at my arms, and my arms are a little flat compared to normal. So that's why I had a little bit of Chipotle and some ice cream. Dude, he, he can he can roll his chest up on, on a pose. You know, I'm just like, dude, it's <laughs> he can put that diet soda can right here, and it wouldn't fucking yeah. move. No, we wouldn't go nowhere. <laughs> hey, mine's falling in the floor right now. If only I could look like that on stage, though, making hey. weight. I guess it. <laughs> so. hey, this is a year. All right, boys, heading out of here. All right, love y'all. See you guys later. Later, bye.